Saturday against either Hingham or Situate. Marshfield begins this period with another minute and 28 seconds, uh, pardon me, 24 seconds on the power play. The penalty clock oddly hasn't started yet. Game clock is underway. We'll see if that's a scoreboard malfunction or something to keep an eye on. It's a uh, different time of year, I guess. Not having many games here. He's trying to get the scoreboards ready. As Marshfield is in the attacking zone. Looks like Tyler McDermott has noticed that the penalty clock hasn't started. They're trying to work on it. Now it's going, but McDermott should have only another minute or so left rather than a minute 16. I think it's even longer than that. To work the clock. Marshfield can take advantage of what appears to be a scoreboard error if it's corrected. And over clears it. Healy will leave it for Mastrangelo. Blows a tire as he tries to move out to the right. Pops right back up. There goes Mastrangelo. He's going to enter onside. Whipped by hand over to Brady Clark's grasp. So they couldn't clear. McDermott's still stuck. He should be out. And so they give him the time allowed. 32 second difference, it's back to five on five, although that's still very confusing. Everybody on the ice and in the stands trying to figure out what's going on. It is even strength, this handover is now down to their offensive end for the first time in the second period. As you can see, the teams have switched sides. There's Nate Del Free trying to shove it out of the corner. He lost a glove down there as well. A Marshfield glove, but there's Anna creating the turnover. Del Preach spun one, moving over Sacco. They blow the play dead because the net was dislodged ever so slightly here at Gallup. One shot on that power play for Hanover, or Marshfield rather. As the Hawks have set up in their attacking end, it's Dan McDonald on the draw. One by Marshfield, though, trying to move out with it was Dan Kane. Goes back to Sacco. Sacco will send one off the corner wall. McDonald trying to meet it on the back door. There's Sacco now behind the net with a little room to run. Sacco on the goal line to Hannah. He scores! Right time, Robbie Hanna on a perfect pass from Sacco out of the corner. Left uncovered on the back door, and Hanover takes a 1 0 lead over Marshfield. Hams into the attacking end. I've on five for the first time now. They've been in the Ozone this period. McDonald with the second assist there. Get 224 off the second. Tyler Richards, far side up towards Hannah. Going after it, Sacco working on the stick of Hemingway, who took a tumble, and Hemingway is hurt. They're also going to get Sacco for a trick. Hemingway a little slow to get up, so we're going to take a Quick break. He's back up now. He's okay. Probably helps knowing that his Marshfield team going back on the power play at 308. Sacco had that pass to set up Hanover's goal. Now going to the box. Cerritos to draw clean back to the point man. And Brooks had left one wide off the end wall. That was Brady Clark, rather. Clark waiting. 
for the puck. He gets it at the near point. We'll trade places with McGetrick. Back towards Clark into the corner wall. Saridis. Saridis. Pass to McGetrick, but he mishandled it. Marshfield going to re enter quickly. It's Saridis. Battling for the puck with Fremet along the end wall. Stick in there to Silva. Marshfield still on side. It's Clark in the middle. Swept it to the open man. That was Pastrangelo. Well wide of the goal now. Can't fit at the half wall by McGetrick. And Saridis. Saridis uses the wall to find Pastrangelo. Back for Saridis. Marshfield working around the edges. Now out into the circle. Top of the zone. It's Clark. The shot and the deflection from Pastrangelo. Well, they will hand over to try to clear. It was Zach Lee. Couldn't get out in the slower roll that time. Marshfield will have to regroup. 49 seconds left on the power play. Scrum in front of the Rams bench. There's Clark still out there. He's been out there for the duration of the power play. Up down by Drew Vermette. He shoots it down the river for panel. Strangelo ran into some interference, legal interference, you should say, from Del Preet. Oh, Paul slowed him down. Now it's Sacco, the goal scorer, over the blue line. Del Preet helped it along. 11 seconds left on the power play. One more chance for Marshfield. They re enter, but it was offside. So four seconds left, and the Rams will have to win their way back into the attacking end from the neutral zone. 9.53 left. Marshfield re-enters, it's Doherty, it's five on five. Doherty to the corner, he'll foil, kept in near wall by Merrick. Out is McDonald, up the near side, wanted Sacco, and the puck will careen all the way back towards Monaghan, able to leave it for Lanigan. Into the middle, it was off the back of the skates of Sacco from McDonald. Sacco re-enters onside, handled by Merrick. Up for Gilfoyle, but handle it cleanly, but didn't carry it onside, or at least angle it just onside. Now the puck comes back. Jared Wright has it for Marshfield. 9.06 left in the second period. Off the wall for Kane in the middle. It's Doherty poked out by Larvey. Sacco goes back towards Lanigan. Up the middle, a three-on-one set to develop for Hanover. It was slowed down, however, by Jared Wright. Sacco, or Hannah, rather, out at the far half boards. Spun around, got it to Taylor. Behind the net, Sacco will try and collect it. Matt Brooks took a tumble. Marshfield looking to move out. It's Gil Foyle. Gave it away to Watson. Across to Richards. Here comes Dan Kane. Onside is Kane. He snaps on. Wide past the glove side of Monaghan. It's a shot from right. Another save by Monaghan. Couldn't hang on to the rebound, though. Marshfield possesses it back out of the neutral zone through the official's crease. It's lobbed up and lands over on the end boards, courtesy of Mastrangelo. The drop from Gilfoyle to Mastrangelo. Now coming on is Hemingway, and a save made by Monaghan. McDermott enters for Hanover in the far circle. Pushed off there by Clark. Good play. And Nett came loose in the process. You can see Healy calling for some help. Looks like it did indeed come loose. 7.41 left in the second.
Back to lead, control in center ice, will lob it deep. Clark gonna have to get to work from Marshfield. Tries to clear, but it's knocked down by Vermette at the half boards. Runs into a scrum of green jerseys at the half wall. Comes free to Clark, almost lost it to Manny Morris. Past the outstretched hands of Del Preet. Onside is Marshfield. As Pagetrick finds his stick, Serenus now had it. De Silva got his stick in the way and a shot taken by Hemingway, blocked by Manning Morris, showing off his prowess in all three zones for the Hawks. Getrick retreats for Hemingway, long pass up, intended for Doyle, and no icing. They're gonna rule he made a play on it. Jack Lee, the entry for Manning Morris, ahead is offside, close. Morris nearly had a breakaway. All about Manny Morris. He had three shorthanded goals in a single game last year in the tournament or was shut down. Game against North Quincy over at the Canton Ice House. He can score in bunches. Been quiet so far today. Larvey across for Lanigan. Pass ahead intended for Joy. It was interrupted by Brooks. Matt Flynn leads lines. This one there, Jared Wright goes across for Merrick. Up to Doyle. Intended for Carroll. Pushed along by Jared Wright and shipped ahead a little bit more by Tommy Carroll. He goes behind the net. Tried to move back out. He got hooked up a little bit, but no call. Stays onside. Shot into the kick plate by Gil Foyle. Now scrum just inside the attacking zone. Swiped by Merrick. He'll send it deep. Lanigan plays it off the bounce. Is Merrick on the forecheck. Going to make Lanigan go back to work behind the net. Trying to kick it free to himself. Coming up with a takeaway at that time, Storty still in deep for Marshfield. They're going to want to free it to the points, and they did. The stand came, but Jared Wright was a little bit behind it. Retreated his merit. Came back across the right from a knee. He got the puck up to Gil Foyle. Lost it to Watson. In the middle of the ice, here comes Hannah. Working with Sacco, Hannah takes the lead. Just behind the net, had been a two on two, now everybody arrives on the scene. Kept in, far point by Richards. Around the perimeter, Sacco, head on a swivel, looking to collect. Moved out, Marshfield moves. It's Gilfoyle ahead for Kane. Moves into the middle, Kane over to Gilfoyle. He pulled the trigger on it and the puck never settled. He more lifted it to himself. Is Sacco is going to enter for Hanover. Intercepts. And now ahead, it's Mastrangelo. They get him for an offside, and that will slow things down. 4.32 left in the second period. Lee's offering wide, collected by Brown off the wall. He'll shove it back for McDermott. Shots on goal now 14 to 11 in favor of Marshfield. The Rams move out. It's McGetrick. Started up the middle and faded to the right. McGetrick, good defense there, one on one by Vermet. Using his stick cleanly. Back was Hemingway, and he got angled off by Quinn Brown. Helped by Brian Taylor now. Shoves it far point for Vermet. Vermet sends one into the glove. Clean save made by Healy. 3.53 left in the second. Silva won the draw to the middle for Del Preet and a heavy stick. Now he lifts one and a save made by Healy. 
Tapped in by Lanigan, sends one and kicked by Healy. May have hit the post on its way over to the corner as well. Here's Manny Morris, low in the circle, enveloped by some green jerseys. Here's De Silva, lifts one wide of the near post, had a modicum of space. Marshall gets the clear and a two on two coming. It's Carroll up with Doyle. That goes wide of the goal. Slittered back towards Monaghan. Kept onside this time by Doyle. Clark tries to clear. Here comes Manning Morris. Building speed. He made his move to the right but lost it to Jared Wright. Took it away clean. De Silva takes back out to Silva for Manny Morris in the circle. They shot and it's blocked by Wright. Morris lurking on these last couple of shifts for a handover, waiting to break through. Jack Lee retreats. Went off the skates of an official to the middle. Tail Lanigan has it. Went off the wall. Marshfield will quick, quickly re enter. It's Dan Kane going to snap a pass ahead to Gilfoyle. Wide to the corner, he'll foil to the wall for Hemingway. Around the perimeter, Clark comes in, swinging a miss, but it went off his shins. And a shot taken quickly by Doherty. Blocked before it could reach Monahan. Now, Hanover clears. Dan McDonald with the open man and Zach Lee. He'll lob one up the middle, was trying to connect with Flynn. Onside is Hannah. Hannah to the middle for Sacco, snaps one. Off the end glass, less than two minutes to go in the second. Up and down the ice they go. It's a re-entry for Saritas. Drop back to McGettrick and a save made by Moynihan. Saritas still down there in the play blown dead. Not sure Moynihan had it clean yet. Marshfield will have to settle for an ozone draw with a buck 47 to go in the second period. shot right into the gut of Monaghan. He covers up. 26 left in the second. Marshfield wins the draw. It's taken away by Lee. Got it out for the time being. Comes back to Vermette. Wanted ground on the near wing. Taylor circled back into his own zone off the wall, intended for Vermette, grabbed by Brown. And now Taylor slides through some coverage, turns the tides for Hanover with less than a minute to go in the middle period. Comes free for Vermette from the half boards off the corner wall. Clean to Taylor, the shot is blocked in, up and out of play. Here at Gallo. 48 seconds left in the second period. Winner of this game gets the winner of Hingham and Sidgwick. Saturday, back here at Gallo at a time to be determined. We will have that game for you on My Hockey Live. And a headset for Brandon Hall. Silva just got ran into the wall and it's going to be a penalty on Marshfield. It's going to be for a rough. Looks like Hemingway the guilty party. So second time, as a matter of fact, at the almost identical time in the first period that Hanover went man down, Marshfield is going to go man down at 14.25 of the second. Hanover had gone man down in 14-24 of the first. So it's on Hemingway for a rough. This power play will wrap around should Hanover not score early. Del Creek playing the point. Keeps it in for Met. Behind the net. Out to Manning Morris. Also situated high for the tie beam. Snaps one. Right into the gut of Healy.
Dome set to take another ozone draw with Sacco to his left and Vermette to his right. Del Preet and Boris the point. Man. Clark tries to clear. Serenus will try as well. One off the backside of Mastrangelo. Did succeed though. Del Preet ahead. Well clear of the red line. 17 seconds left in the period. Merrick around the edges. Del Preet gonna send one. Change directions. Morris a backhander and he didn't connect cleanly. So Hanover will still have 125 on the power play when we come back. Shots on goal. 18-15. 